What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I got a quick PSA, public service announcement for you guys. And I don't know, maybe something in the water. Maybe you guys are drinking energy drinks, have ADD, maybe just really riled up for boxing in 2014. But it's gotten to the point where I have to address it. Now, when it comes to fan mail comments, people always tell me, what I should talk about. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. And I encourage your feedback because a lot of you guys have great suggestions as far as what I should talk about or current events. Sometimes you guys even hit me to boxing news like, oh, check out this video. And then I'll look at it and stump. it might even be something that I hadn't even heard or seen yet. So as far as that's concerned, all good. But I'm all for the what ifs. Even on my channel, I have a thing called Egos Versus. I have one coming up. It should be up today. And I also do Eagles matchmakers. So I have different segments where I play the what if or the fantasy matchmaking game. Cool. I have no problem. Even if you guys want to relive matches that really can't happen for whatever reason. Like, oh, Diego Corrales versus Marquez at whatever weight. That's all fine because it's fantasy. It's fun and game. And um, I don't mind entertaining that. But recently... I'm getting a lot of comments from different people, different usernames and whatnot. And you guys are asking me about matches that make absolutely no sense. Like, yo, talk about this, Ego. Um, there's been multiple people asking me about Danny Garcia versus Canelo. So, again, I know there's different levels of boxing fans. But, you serious? I feel like Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, right. You serious? Like... Danny Garcia versus Canelo should not be in, in any discussions. Um, Canelo is a guy who had trouble making 54. So he's a growing young boy. And we don't know how long he's going to be able to even make weight at 54. Meanwhile, it looks like Danny Garcia can still make 140. And he maybe has a couple fights, two to three fights at 140 if he chooses. And he could still comfortably making it without going the Brandon Rios route. He hasn't even traveled to welterweight. So, again, some of you guys are, are talking about, like, listen to what you're saying. Maybe, like I said, maybe some people don't know boxing. Maybe they just want to see it because there are two names. But I don't know, man. The danger of moving these fighters too fast, Adrian Broner is the perfect example. He started feeling himself, then he bit off more than he could chew. You're walking everybody down at 130, 135 or whatever, and you get in there with a grown-ass man with some seasoning, like Marcos Maidana, even though to the eye test, he looks very beatable to Adrian Broner. You're like, oh, he's flat-footed. Motherfucker, so are you. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the style in which Broner chooses to fight for whatever reason. So I don't know if he can't use his legs. Maybe he's never been taught. Maybe he wants to be such a showman. But anyway, he got in there. And he found out quickly that Marcos Maidana is not Escobedo. He's not Eloy Perez, who was on coke when they fought. You know what I mean? And it's a different ball game when you move up and wait. So, Danny Garcia versus Canelo. I don't. I don't see why we're even talking about this. Why I should even spend time analyzing or discussing a fight like that? If anything, Danny Garcia should be looking up to the very next weight division, which is 147. And I think he can entertain and his power can transition and he can make some good fights up there. Um, Colazzo, they, they talked about Pauli Malinaji, um, Keith Thurman after a couple fights. I wouldn't suggest that Danny Garcia take that as his first fight unless he, he really wants to try to make a statement. But there's a lot of good fights for him at 47. And furthermore, if you watch my recent videos, Canelo has people in his own division calling him out who are down for the fight. Jamal Charlo, whether you think he deserves a shot or not, said Canelo versus Charlo. He tweeted that the other day. So he's down for that fight. Edislani Laura hopped on stage and requested a fight, called him out. There's other fights that can be made in his own division. So I don't see this thing in boxing that other people are doing where you're so quick to look down and have people come up like when there's people staring you at like in the eyes in your own division. You guys are talking about Canelo versus Danny Garcia when he ain't even been to welterweight yet. 
That doesn't make any fucking sense. He's a good fighter. He's an entertaining fighter. He's the lineal champion at 140. But we don't even know if his power is going to transition to welterweight or if he's going to look even slower at welterweight or whatever the situation is until we see him fight. There's been plenty of fighters who, as they moved up, they had more trouble. Like I would say Paul Williams was more devastating at 47. And based on not being able to get fights, not many people wanted that those problems. At 47, he moved up. And, you know what I mean, he had some tough fights there. Winky Wright and the Sergio Martinez knockout, etc., etc. So, I don't know. I don't get it. I'm hearing a lot of different... Someone else said the other day, Luis Colazo versus Gabe Rosado. Yeah, I mean, some of these fights are interesting, but Colazo's calling out Mayweather. He's at 47. It looks like he has no problem making the weight. There's a stacked division. There's plenty of people at 47. Khan, um, Sean Porter... Kel Brook needs to be tested. There's tons of competition at 47. I just don't see why some of you fans are looking outside of the immediate division when there's tons of talent, tons of people in the talent pool at a current division. So for Canelo to keep fighting smaller guys and fight Danny Garcia or for fighters to move up two weight classes and one weight class, there's a reason that there are records that are hard to beat. Because it's not that easy. Like Lomachenko. You look at Lomachenko. Another person who bit off more than he could chew. Tried to move too fast against a game challenger. Amateur pros. Two different games. But you look at Lomachenko. There's a reason why nobody got a world title in their second pro fight. Not even Lomachenko. Because despite how great he is. And all the potential that he holds. It's a different ball game. And it's not as easy as it looks. To have one fight against somebody who wasn't even relevant, you know what I mean? And in your second fight, take on a veteran like Orlando Salido and pull it off. He could have done it, and he showed that in the later rounds. I think the 12th round, he had Salido hurt, but too little, too late. And again, there's a reason these records are in place, Tyson being the, the youngest heavyweight. It's because you have to groom, you have to acclimate. And unless you have that Tyson raw power where you're just knocking out 30-year-old grown men who outweigh you and outsize you and taller than you, then good luck with that. So on my boxing channel, I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible. There's tons of great fights with Canelo, even Canelo versus Cotto. Um, I think that's a good fight. Cotto shows towards some people like a Devon Rodriguez. He, he can't be game, and you know, I mean, he gave Floyd Mayweather a tough fight. So that's even a more realistic fight. But Danny Garcia and Canelo, like, I don't know. I just feel like some of you guys don't watch boxing. I remember before Broner got stopped by Maidana, some people were saying Adrian Broner versus Canelo. And I was like, that's fucking stupid. Like, Broner, I don't know. I, I don't, I even said back then, that's not a good look for Broner. I don't know if he's big enough, you know what I'm saying? And he's, he's too flat-footed. You like He'll get destroyed. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he did get destroyed by someone a division down from Canelo. So anyway, try to keep it realistic. Like I said, I don't have problem answering fan questions, comments. But try to keep it realistic. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm-hmm.